thanks for tuning in today. Uh, pretty much getting an update video on like everything. Uh, I've been getting like messages like, hey, haven't been dropping anything, what's going on, blah, blah, blah. So just keep everybody on the same page. Um, pretty much, yeah, I'm in a car accident, got some bulge disc in my back and all kinds of other issues. So having those stuff worked out. Uh, pretty much just came from the park, did some running, getting everything back in shape. So I haven't had much projects that I've been doing. The last one I had to do was the 535 XI single turbo. I finished that one up, but man, it took me forever because I was like in pain. Like <laughs> I was on the car and my whole neck was spasming. The thing just like, your nerves just going all crazy. So it's just something like most likely I'm gonna have to deal with for like the rest of my living life or whatever. But um, right now it's pretty much manageable in a sense. Um, mentally doing a lot better, physically, spiritually, spiritually and all that other good stuff, so. Spirituality. God, if you listen, hell, his bad back. Doctor said I need a back out of me. I'm in a good space. So for the 535XI single turbo, that actually ran pretty good. Like barring uh, everything outside of the single turbo kit itself, like mocking it up and modifying different things, uh, held boost pretty good. Um, the only problem was when tuning it, I noticed it was like having um, the trims were off and all this other other mess. So one thing came to mind was the injector didn't have those normal signs of uh, the smell, your whole garage smell like gas or anything like that. It wasn't exhibiting that. It's only when you're in the car and you're looking at the logs and you're like, why is it dumping mad fuel? It was, the car was just pulling fuel to um, cause having so much going into the engine. So replaced all of those, recording them because the old ones are like inject index four and five, like all of them. It's like mismatch galore. So pretty much the down pass has to be modified to allow two um, sensors. car the most beautiful thing is that most of my parts are like pretty decent stuff so i went ahead and sold my single turbo kick the on three kit that i had uh used that money plus some other parts and use that money to contribute to my business that i started so i don't got no money to go borrow from anybody nothing like that it's just me so I so went ahead did what i had to do and i know i'm gonna go ahead and recoup the money back which I have, so now I'll be able to buy, I already bought, started buying back all my parts and everything like that, so pretty much like a loan to myself. So that's the good thing about modern cars, is that if, as long as you got some like quality parts, decent stuff and good, keep them in good condition, you can always go ahead and resell them. It's almost like, I don't know, stockpiling Jordans or something like that, or watches or whatever investment vehicles you choose. So yeah, that worked out pretty much good for me and I'm able to go ahead and start buying my stuff back. The one thing I wish I didn't sell was my six speed swap. Um, I had that sitting for a long time. It just needed time to go ahead and um, put it in and everything for the right moment. But hey, it came in handy, sold it. And the weird thing is like all of a sudden now, six feet manual prices and everything that's going out the roof. So I don't know, I might have to stick um, auto for a good minute until I figure like a good pricing on a kit or I don't know, do some other kind of swap with it or build, build an automatic transmission. So thanks for watching and stay tuned. I have a whole bunch of videos I got to release that I've edited. So yeah.